Let's see how to upload a ready-made design to the Printful design page. Navigate to the product you want to customize or start creating a new product. Select the area you want to place your design, like the front or back of the product. In the left menu, you will find the upload option. When you click it, a pop-up appears showing the file already in your library. You can search for previously uploaded file by name. You can upload new files from your computer or other sources. In the recently used section, you can select designs you've used before. Below that, you'll find all other files. When you hover over an image, you'll see three dots. Clicking on them, open a menu where you can preview, download, or delete a file. To use a file, click Apply, and it will appear on the product mockup. When you add a design to the product, you'll see the lines marking the printing area. Anything you add outside this area will not print it, and it will disappear if you extended the design beyond these lines. To know the size of the product printing area, so you can prepare the design for upload to Printful, click on the product you want to upload. In the pricing and file guidelines section, you can find the exact size of the product design. Make sure the design is high quality with at least 150 dpi according to Printful and scale to the actual size of the product. I create all my design on Canva and use 4500 by 5400 pixels and 300 dpi because this works for most print on demand websites. However, you might need to adjust each product to ensure the design fits perfectly within the printing area. Once the design is on the mockup, a new menu appears at the top where you can customize the design. You can resize and reposition it using your mouse. When you click on the transform button, you can see the changes and add exact number for adjustments. This feature is important if you want to use automation tool like Task Magic to upload products quickly. While it provides some customization option for the design, it doesn't offer the same flexibility as the Printify design tool. When you click on position, there is no option to enter exact numbers, which can be a challenge when using automation. You can adjust the position by clicking on the buttons, but it's not as precise as typing numbers or using your mouse for, for fine adjustment with the automation. If you want to crop the design, click crop and trim the extra parts and then save. If you want to use the design as pattern, click pattern, where you'll find option for spreading the design in different way. This is great for all of your prints. You can also remove the background if needed and save the design for reuse later. On the side, you'll see information about the file you're working on. If you upload more than one image, the file will appear stacked on the side, representing the layers of the design. You can rearrange these layers to place one design over or under another. If you're in a different tab, you can click on the image and it will return to the layers panel. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.